Got it. 42-year-old mm -hmm. female with a ganglion on the left wrist. She had a drain about seven months ago, and then it recurred about two months ago. She does have pain with motion. She works as a hairstylist, so it seems to be uh, getting in the way quite often. So we're going to look at it from the ultrasound. It looks like it's two cysts, so we might have to drain it twice. Uh, let's see if it's one, though. It's one cyst, actually. Cut it looks again. like one cyst. Here's this pretty sizable ganglion on the dorsal aspect of the wrist kind of going in a transverse direction across the scaphoid and lunate. Here you can see how it's making the extensor tendons bowed up from the size of the cyst and we're making extensor tendons translucent. This is the pro position. It's in a dorsal axial position. It's going to be an in-plane approach. And here's the needle and the syringe. Again, just parallel to the pro. And there the needle is going into that most radial aspect of the cyst. Now we're aspirating. We're able to get most of the fluid out of the cyst, but not all of it, especially the ulnar aspect of the cyst still remains. And here we are injecting cortisone at the end of the procedure. Yeah, yeah it looks like it's connected. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's bulging out on the side. And there's the other part of it. And here you can see the cyst. We're in an axial plane on the dorsum of the wrist. And here we're now just going through some of the extensor compartments. On the left side of the screen, you can see that first extensor compartment you got the second extensor compartment just to the right, which you can see here. And then you can see Lister's tubercle, which is that bony bump we see. Just radial to that is the third compartment, the extensor pollicis longus. And then just radial to that will be your fourth compartment, which you can see here, right in the middle of the screen on top is the fourth compartment. So now as you go a little bit distal, clip again, we're at 9, 10, you can see the extents, it's a big, the extent of the cyst is pretty big. It's like a dumbbell, actually. Or like a bone. You know, like one of those little doggy bones? Under the tendons. So, probably the way. First extensor component, then we're going a little bit ulnar. So, here we are looking at it in a sagittal perspective. Here you can see the extensor tendon over the radius and the scaphoid. There's other extensor tendons. And now we're going a little bit ulna. We can see the articulation of the radius to the right into the lunate and then the lunate into the capitate, which is on the left side of the screen. Here again, you can see that nice articulation of the, the radius with the lunate and the capitate. Also, you do not see this fluid communicating with the joint, so it's not an effusion at the articulation between the scaphoid and the distal radius, as occasionally you can see expansion of the dorsal recess of these joints. Here we are starting the procedure. We're going from the very lateral or radial aspect of this cyst, which was pretty easy to access. So here we got most of that cyst. Uh, there may be some of that cyst remaining in the medial part, which you can see over here. And here we're trying to eject some cortisone. It looks like it's initially a little bit superficial. So we advance the needle a little bit deep to where it was initially when we drained the cyst. And then we're injecting the rest of the cortisone. And here you can see some of the residual ganglion that we were unable to aspirate during the procedure. And several week follow up for this patient, essentially the cyst did come back and her level of pain in the cyst was unfortunately about the same as it was pre-procedure.